I'm putting on my mad scientist glasses for this one. I had a crazy idea that I want to share with you. This is my crazy idea about influencing LLMs, influencing ChatGPT, influencing AI mode, influencing perplexity, influencing Claude. So what do we know about LLMs? We know that LLMs really like comparison tables. They like that structured comparing one brand's features or services or prices or reviews to another brand. They like it so much that if you tell an LLM what you're looking for, there's a good chance it'll give you a list of brands and compare them with a table right there in the chat. What else do we know? We know that LLMs like up-to-date information and will search the web in order to get that up-to-date information. We know that if you put honey in coffee, it's delicious because I've been drinking this and it's freaking wonderful. I put in so much honey. We know that UGC user-generated content is doing extremely well in search. YouTube, Medium, LinkedIn, X, Facebook. And I had the thought, what if you were to make a comparison table and put it in a place that will do really well, but nobody ever puts comparison tables, a YouTube description or a Facebook post or an X post or a LinkedIn post, places that people do put them, Medium articles, and that will work well. And I had this thought and, then I, and I thought to myself, you know, it would probably influence an LLM. You would probably be able to control the narrative for when an LLM compares your brand to a competitor brand. You can control the narrative. You can make sure that the LLM is using the correct data about your brand. You don't want it to give the wrong information for your prices and what you offer and what you don't offer. You want to be the one submitting that data so that it is correct and so that it may be, maybe it is favorable. And you can also go deeper. So say, for example, you are putting a comparison table comparing your brand to a competing brand in a YouTube description. Well, is a, U is a YouTube video not actually going to be about your brand? Of course, it's going to be about your brand. In fact, you might even say the comparison table. You might even actually read parts of it in the video. It could be a short. You could say, this is what we offer. Here's what competing brands offer. Here's why we are the best choice for this. And then you have a deep comparison table in the description. Now, is it going to look like a standard table in the description for a YouTube video? No. Might just be a list of what you offer versus what another brand offers or prices or reviews, things like that. But it's going to be structured enough that it will be easy for an LLM to create a table for people who are interested, who are actually evaluating options to go with. And then what you do, oh my God. Gosh, then what you do is you take that same table and that same content and you use it across all other social platforms. And now you have this table appearing in all these different places. And when an LLM is going and searching for this long tail query, like a comparison table, and long tail is so much easier to rank for, so much easier to surface your brand for long tail keywords, your comparison table is showing up in all of these different places. You are the source of truth. And you take that table and you also use it on your website. You also use that on your website with pages that target competitor plus alternative. These are alternatives pages. If you are HubSpot, you make a page called Salesforce Alternative. And on that page, right below the fold, right below when people start scrolling, is a feature by feature comparison of HubSpot versus Salesforce. And that same comparison table is appearing across UGC. It's, it's appearing across Facebook. It's appearing across X. The presentation might be different. It might be a list versus an actual table on the website, but all the information is the same. And I see no reason why this wouldn't work. I think it's really exciting because it's just a shortcut to control the narrative for people looking for what you sell or specifically looking to see how your brand compares to other brands. Nick Eubanks of SEMrush came on the podcast. I think he came on last week and his research showed that LLMs convert 4.4 times better than traditional search. Now, the volume isn't really there compared to traditional search. Traditional search still has way more volume, but guess what? These comparison tables work in traditional search as well. That's how LLMs are picking them up because the UGC is showing up so well. Oh my gosh, this is just such a cool idea. I thought of this and I said, I gotta share this with the podcast. I, I, it's just such a cool idea. So I hope you will try this. That's what I wanted to share with you. I have my coffee with my honey 
and my excitement and my mad scientist glasses. These are my blue blocker glasses that I wear before bed, but I, I needed mad scientist glasses for for this episode. So that's that's what they are for this episode. If you try this, let me know how it goes. Those side-by-side -side comparisons, everybody loves them. All right, this is episode 882 of my daily podcast, The Edward Show, 882 days in a row without missing a single day. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, hey, if you want some more crazy SEO that actually is tested by me, that's my SEO course, Compact Keywords. It's what's on my shirt if you're watching on YouTube. Compact Keywords is some of the most inspired I have been while making content. And you will feel that in the videos within Compact Keywords, in what I am sharing within Compact Keywords. And these are my tactics, things that I use. Compact Keywords is tested and proven. It's proven by me and it's proven by lots of people taking the course and sharing amazing video testimonials, which are on the landing page. That's at compactkeywords.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.